so the still point yes. is wherever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. right? The still point does not have to be the point of contact. Mm -hmm. The still point can be behind you, mm -hmm. right? If that's if that's appropriate. Yes. Right? Because again, it's like a magic trick where it's not about the sleight of hand; it's about the sleight of mind. Right. It, it, it's it's about how it affects your mind, mm -hmm. not about what I'm doing to the sword. Mm -hmm. Right? If I if I go this way, get your sword out of the way, that I'm fighting a sword. Mm -hmm. Right. But if I'm engaging your mind, then I don't have to worry about what the sword's doing most of the time because your mind is doing something else. Your mind is not in the sword. Yes. Right? You also have to watch out for the independent sword mm. because sometimes the mind disconnects from the sword mm. and the sword is smarter than the mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So you're, you're going around like, aha, he doesn't know what it's, oh, how did the sword get there? His mind was not on it at all, right? <laughs> so you have to pay attention to that. It's like when you're doing knife defense, do you focus on the arm or the knife or the mind or you know, do you shut the person down? Do you just mm. like go for a stop hit kind of idea? Yeah, totally. Right? Well, you have to be aware of the fact that the guy might just have a numb arm and the, sword, and the knife goes flying and hits you by accident. Oh, that would suck. Right? It's odds are less, but <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a lot, of, a lot of strategy and tactics are based on probability. Right. What is most likely to happen? Mm. Right? And you want to transcend that and not be limited by probability, mm -hmm. which means you have to sort of abandon that phenomenal math and the idea of the universe being mm -hmm. a universe. Every fight involves multiple opponents. There's your opponent, their weapon, footwork, their mind, their skill, their technique, rhythm, timing, distance, and strength. You also have to contend with your weapon, your footwork, your mind, your skill, your technique, your timing and rhythm, strength, and your weaknesses. If you face 20 opponents and your mind is captured by one of them, then you will be unaware of the other 19. But by not allowing your mind to be taken by any one of them, you can perceive them all. We remain undefeated only so long as we maintain stillness and emptiness 